Everyone is trying to make money online by using ChatGPT. But hardly anyone is actually using ChatGPT effectively, whether they're a solopreneur or running a larger business like I am. So here are seven tips for using ChatGPT to grow your business this year that will actually save you time and make you more money. I've included a bonus prompt at the end of today's video, and I've also added in a link in the comments below to a cheat sheet containing all the prompts that you can steal for yourself and try them out later. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive into ChatGPT. Whether you're starting out as a solopreneur or managing a large team, there are only so many hours in the day to get things done. Luckily, ChatGPT can help you to better manage your time and get as much out of your day as possible. For example, you could use it to create a to-do list where you list a number of tasks and set your time constraints for the day, and then ChatGPT will output this in a manageable timetable that also factors in things like going to the gym and eating and anything else you want to do. This will save you a ton of time compared to writing things out by hand. Now, loads of people get stuck when it comes to choosing a domain name for their first product or website. ChatGPT can help you overcome that domain name block by coming up with a list of names that you can select from or which might give you some inspiration and get you back to running your business instead of spending hours and hours mulling over a name. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to act as a domain name generator. You can give it a title of your company or your product and then it will list out a whole host of domain names. You can even specify the length of these and whether any keywords need to feature in them. Now, to grow any business, you're going to need an audience. Blogging or posting on socials is one of the best ways to do this, and copywriting is one of the best ways to use ChatGPT that will save you the most time. But people often struggle with generic responses that aren't original or specific to their audience. So here's how I use ChatGPT for speeding up content creation. First off, I'll write my topic right at the top of the prompt, and then I'll also add in the keywords that I'm looking to include in the article. I'll then ask ChatGPT to brainstorm a number of H2 headings for sections of the blog post, and this can also be used for things like essay writing or any type of content you're trying to produce. ChatGPT will then return a very specific list of those headings that you can choose from, and then you can organize your article and split up your word count. If you want, you can then take these headings and put them back into ChatGPT and allow it to create sections of your blog. Or if you'd prefer for more originality, you can go old school and write it yourself. To sell anything, you're going to need an irresistible offer and a sales page, but writing sales copy can take ages. Now, you can prompt ChatGPT to come up with relevant copy for you. By being specific, you can optimize this for SEO and follow a structure like problem, agitate, and solution to explain why your customers need your product and why they should buy it immediately. For example, what I will sometimes do, I will add my product at the top of the prompt, I'll list my audience and be very specific with their demographics so that ChatGPT knows how to gauge the language, and then I'll ask ChatGPT to write a sales landing page with its description from the above topic. I'll ask it to break things down into structures and use things like H1 for the title and H2 subtitles so that I'm factoring SEO into the HTML code. When it comes to building trust with your customers, content really is king, and people appreciate reviews and comparisons of products that they're considering buying. Asking ChatGPT to act as a reviewer for things in your niche can help you to quickly generate blog post ideas or YouTube breakdowns that are useful to your audience and keeps them engaged with your brand. For example, if you're doing something in the tech sector or you're running an affiliate store, you might take a product, for example, like the Steam Deck, and then ask ChatGPT to behave like a technology reviewer. You can break down how you want the review structured, featuring things like pros and cons and comparison and price, and you can even get ChatGPT to come up with a score out of 10 for you. If you're trying to build out a go-to-market plan for your own business, or you're helping your client with their own sales and marketing strategy, ChatGPT can save you a ton of time by brainstorming routes to market and even creating a formal marketing document that you can then build upon. For example, you might use the prompt, act as a marketing consultant. Please provide a marketing plan for a new learning app aimed at K-12 schools. Break down in detail how to go from zero to the first 1 million users using app marketing strategies, and be as detailed as possible. ChatGPT will then respond with a long list of things that you can act on. If you're creating your own website or one for a client, putting together a web design strategy is key to creating a page that converts. ChatGPT can help you to consolidate ideas and best practices and even create design documentation to guide your team or an external client. For example, you can use the prompt, act as a web design consultant. 
I'll provide the details about a client and what they want from their website redesign, and then you suggest the most suitable interface and features that can enhance the user experience and meet the client's business goals. You can then break this down even further and ask ChatGPT to use things like the latest UX design principles and any website development tools that might be needed, and then specify your client and their needs at the end. Okay, so here's a little bonus prompt that I love using at the moment. As a busy entrepreneur, I often run out of meal ideas to keep me energized. And it's great because you can use ChatGPT to create recipes which you can try yourself and stay on top of things as an entrepreneur, but you can also create lots of these recipes and put together a done for you nutrition and recipe business for your niche by moving the recipes and instructions into something like Canva and then selling a digital version on Gumroad or a physical book on Etsy or Amazon. And if you've ever wanted to write your own recipe book, there's never been a better time. If you use this prompt and the previous tips in this video, you'll be able to do just that. In the prompt, I specify the type of food I want created in detail first, and then I ask ChatGPT to give me the recipe and instructions to make that food. You can even specify things like calories and macros, which is really important if you're selling to the fitness industry. And here's another really great bonus prompt that I've been using for effective marketing. You can actually use ChatGPT to write the code for helpful free tools that your audience will value. For example, you could create a simple Chrome extension that saves recipes to a Google Sheet, or how about a quick HTML tool that tells people the time in another country. You can write this out and get both a breakdown of how to sort the code, but also the actual code itself. For example, you might want to write the code for a simple HTML application where the user can enter a topic that they're studying and then the code outputs a study timetable. This is exceptionally helpful for people who are busy and can't be bothered actually putting together their own study timetable and will bring people to your business and offer value to your customers. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this practical dive into ChatGPT for Business really helpful. To help you steal the prompts and try them out, I've added a link to a list of all the prompts in this video below in the comments that you can copy and paste easily. Make sure you check out my other videos on generative AI, which I'll put up here. And the next video in the series looks at some of the biggest mistakes that people make when using ChatGPT prompts so that you can engineer prompts that are more effective for you. Thanks so much for subscribing and for watching, and I'll catch you again in the next video.